despite my usual introduction to all of my videos, please rest assured that I don't consider this to be a game. That being said, it's time to play the game. Time to play the game. Time to play the game! Earlier this year I filmed a video in which I said that there was a war coming, kind of a cultural war, and that, that war would play itself out in like a lot of different ways, but one of the ways it was definitely going to play itself out was going to be YouTube, and it was going to be between those who describe themselves as feminists and those who describe themselves as men's rights activists. Now, I still sort of stand by that. But what has changed is I don't think that the war is coming. I think the war is now upon us. And I think it's also fair to say that the war has now become very, very entrenched. And the sort of tribalism that has come to typify YouTube in the last five or so years has really, really intensified, especially with these two groups of people. No one's talking to each other anymore. We're all talking past each other. And nothing's being solved. Regardless of whether or not you're a men's rights activist or a feminist, none of the problems that we perceive are being actually tackled or addressed. We keep drawing lines in the sand and daring the other side to cross. And I don't know about any of you, but I'm getting heartily sick of it. Every argument we have just keeps getting muddier and keeps getting more bitter. And I have to believe that there's got to be a better way of doing this. Now, Whichever side of the argument you're on, be it feminist or be it men's rights activist, whatever differences we have, we do definitely have something in common. We're all of us human. And by that virtue and that virtue alone, we're all of us capable of some kind of diplomacy. We're all of us capable of being able to actually sit down and talk to each other. And that's what I'm proposing. Now, I have no idea if I'm the best person to do this. I'm not exactly known for being terribly diplomatic or for being non-confrontational. But fuck me, from where I'm sitting, I feel like we've got to try something else. We've got to try something different than what we've been doing so far. And for my part, I'm going to put away all of the prejudices and all of the preconceived notions that I have of men's rights activists, and I'm going to take a men's rights activist, whichever men's rights activist decides to do this, at their word. And I'm going to see whether or not we can find some sort of common ground, whether or not there's some sort of a conversation that we can have. Now, I've got absolutely no problems in admitting that 100% of the interactions that I've had with men's rights activists have not gone well and have left me with a sour taste in my mouth and they've helped me solidify this prejudice that Men's rights activists are nothing more than spoilt, petulant man-children who are essentially building a treehouse that says no girls allowed. And every video by men's rights activists that I've seen on YouTube has essentially seemed like yet another episode of we no longer live in the 1950s and it scares me. But I'm told all the time as well that there are men's rights activists out there who literally do care only for men's rights. That men's rights activism isn't a solely reactionary movement set up in opposition to feminism. And because I've been disappointed time and time again in that, if I found it very, very easy to just dismiss the men's rights activist movement. And I have been wholeheartedly guilty of being one of those people who just draws a line in the sand and dares you to cross it. But I don't think that we can carry on this way, and I don't want to carry on this way, and I'm hoping that one of you out there, who is a men's rights activist, feels the same way and feels like there is something worthy to be had in a conversation. I'm hoping that one of you who is a men's rights activist out there thinks that there is some common ground that we can find. So simply, let's find it. I'm not looking for any kind of a debate. I'm not looking to pwn anyone. and I'm not looking for anyone who's interested in doing that kind of thing with me. I'm essentially looking for the men's rights activist who is as sick as I am of the very, very entrenched lines we find ourselves behind. I'm looking for someone who's interested in a conversation, a civil conversation. I'm looking for someone who's willing to leave all their preconceptions and all of their prejudices about feminism at the door. I'm looking for someone who is essentially willing to start from a completely clean slate, because that is exactly what I'm offering. So instead of us drawing a line in the sand and daring the other to cross it, 
How about we both draw a line in the sand and we both cross it together? We leave the tribalism behind, we leave the anger behind, we leave the bitterness behind. We just be two people that sit down to talk. I'm proposing a series of videos where we talk to each other, where we get across exactly what we think, why we think it, and what we can do to find any kind of common ground between the two of us. I promise you, that common ground, it does exist. As a sign of good faith, I'll start. While I don't believe that men have it as tough as women do in society, I do accept that men have got a very, very unique set of challenges and problems. And I don't think that those unique set of challenges and problems can necessarily be solved by feminism. Furthermore, I definitely think that there is room for a men's movement. I'd go further to say that I think it's necessary. Consider that me reaching across the table with an open hand. For everyone else watching this video, I would like you to do a couple of things for me. First of all, I would like you to tell as many people as you can about this video. Uh, get as many people as you can watching it. Um, I think the more it's out there, the more chance of this actually happening. And second of all, if you have the ability to, please mirror it and share it. Finally, if you are the men's rights activist I've described in this video, please get in touch. I will be more than happy to begin the conversation with you. And I hope to hear from you soon. All that's left to say is, until the next time I invite you all to play the game.